Okay, so good day. In this lecture video, we will be talking about a Venn diagram. Okay, so what is a Venn diagram? The Venn, di Venn diagram is basically a pictorial representation of sets in which sets are represented by enclosed areas in the plane. So an example of Venn diagram looks like this. So we have here a plane, which is a square, and this square is represented as the universal set. Inside the universal set uh, is where the other set should be found. So what is a universal set? So basically, a universal set are all those objects that is found inside the universe, or all the objects that could be uh, inside the other sets. Okay? So basically, um, a Venn diagram, in a Venn diagram, the sets should always be represented as a circle, and inside the circle should be their names and also their elements. And this circle should always be inside the square, so a plane that is represented as the set of you. Okay, so a we can have more than one set. In this example, we have two sets inside uh, the universal plane, the universal set. We have the set A and the set B. Okay, so if two or more sets have something in common, then these sets could overlap in the Venn diagram. Okay, so it is represented as this. For example, we have these two sets. So we have set A that contains 1, 2, 1, 2 5, and 6. And set B, we have A, 1, 5, B, and 7. We see that from these two sets, we have uh, common elements among them, which is the 1 and the 5. Okay. So if we draw them in a Venn diagram form, it will look like this. So the two sets overlapped, and in the overlap, we see the common elements from the two sets. So we have 5 and 1. Okay, And those that are not in the overlap are those elements that are exclusively just found in the sets, like 6 and 2, which only exist in A, and A, B, and 7, which only exist in set B. Another instance is when a set, say, set A, is a subset of set B. Then we draw the Venn diagram representation as this one. Okay, so uh, in the la last lecture video, I have already discussed what a subset is. It's basically a set inside another set. So in this representation, we say that the A is a subset of B, since A is found inside the set. Okay, so now that you have a prior knowledge of what a Venn diagram is, let's have a knowledge check. So given three sets, here we have set A, B, and C. So A contains uh, apple, airplanes, and arrow. I guess this set contains all the um, set contains words that starts with A. And we have a set B, which is mango, grapes, berries, and apple, which is basically a set of fruit. And C is uh, contains train, bus, and airplane, which is a set of transportation devices. Now, our job is, I mean, your job is to draw a Venn diagram representation of this set. Okay? So again, uh, use the prior knowledge that I just discussed in drawing. Uh, the Venn diagram representation of these three sets. So I will give you time. You can pause the video and to to answer this uh, question. Okay. So right now I am assuming that you are done and you are you have something found there in your you have. You have already solved the problem. So the answer is this one. See here? So if you represent these three sets, as you can see, um, 
we first need to find those common elements. So the column common elements from set A and set B is the apple, right? So both elements have both sets has element apple, while A and C has uh, both elements that is A and C has airplanes on them. So meaning the oh, the only unique elements in B are mango, grapes, and berries, and apples since it also belongs in set A, we overlap set A in set B, and in the overlap, we put the apple. Now, the only element found in set A that is not found in the, in the other sets is only the arrows. So here we see that the arrows is not in the overlap. And the third set, we see that its common element from A is the airplane. So we write it in the overlap, and outside of the overlap, which is this one, we write the train and bus since these two elements is not present on the other set. Okay, so if you got this correct, then congratulations. You have learned uh, what I've expected. Anyways, if you got it wrong, it's just a matter of practice. Okay? Okay. Okay. Now you could use a Venn diagram in visualizing verbal statements. This is very useful as we continue on our topics. So, example, you have two statements. All my favorite things are at my room. And the statement two says, I placed your gifts on the table in my room. So what do you conclude? What, you can con what do you think could you conclude from these two mm -hmm. statements? So we... Maybe we could use a Venn diagram. So we have here Venn diagram representation of these two statements. So we see here that all my favorite elements or all my favorite things are at my room. So meaning all the favorite stuff that I have is in my room. Also in statement number two, we say, it is said that the gift that you gave me, uh, I put in my room. So, meaning your gift is also inside my room. So, what do you think could be the conclusion from this? Reading from this, from this Venn diagram here. Well, basically, you can say that since both things are, since all of the things inside my room are my favorite, and your gift is also inside my room, meaning that your gift is one of my favorite things. So, that is what we could conclude from this two statements. And as we can see, it is much easier to visualize them using a Venn diagram. Okay, so that is all for this lecture video. In the next lecture video, I will be further discussing about um, operations of sets like union, intersections, and more. So see you then.